Hey everyone, Roman Kozak here. I've been thinking a lot about sensors recently. I made a video about some simple and incredibly common sensors that output, output quite basic information, um, but w now with the advent of machine learning um, are becoming a lot more capable. So for example, you can think of an Excel ROMer that was previously able to you know, just detect the rotation of your phone screen, um, or it was used in simple gaming applications for steering a car, for example. Now that same accelerometer uh, and gyroscope, so immersion, uh, inertial um, measurement unit, is being used to figure out if you're running, walking, sitting. Um, I just bought a pair of goggles recently that have a IMU inside that can detect your swim stroke and your um, how many laps you've done in the pool. Um, that's by a company called Form Goggles. They're they're quite cool. And then I was thinking about sensors and I made a video about a 3D magnetic sensor that's also really cool. Um, and when paired with, um, you know, mechanics like a joystick, a slider or a knob uh, can be enabled to do very useful um, things. Um, so that was really cool. But then... I was looking for a sen for some sensors that um, by their own design um, down to um, you know the way that the integrated circuit is designed um, sensors that were very capable pieces of hardware themselves so I have searched digikey um, you know and Altium and Mouser um, and the manufacturers for the five coolest sensors that are available right now to integrate into your electronics projects or products. And I will be showing off those five sensors in Altium Designer today. Um, they're the world's most widely used printed circuit board design software, um, and they're the sponsor of this video. So definitely go check out their free trial link here at altium.com slash yt slash Roman A. Kozak um, for your own free trial of Altium. It's actually um, quite a capable program. And like I said, it's the most widely used um, circuit board design software out there. As well, something I like about them is they pay a lot of attention to components. So here in the manufacturer part search, um, your, your design is very components driven. So I can search up MEMS microphone and I'll see all the results of MEMS microphones here. It uses Octopart um, to display the parts here, which is also owned by Altium. And then um, when I select a part, I can see the manufacturers and how many they have in stock. I can see the, the layout, uh, the footprint here, uh, the 3D view. I can also see for you know simpler components like uh, transistors, resistors, uh, 555 timers, etc. I can see alternatives. And that's recommended to you by um, IHS Market, which has an integration to Altium. So if I want to use this, I simply um, click here and click Acquire or Place. And then just like that, I can use it in my project. So let's get right into it. The first sensor that I found very interesting was the pulse oximeter and heart rate sensor. So um, it's an integrated pulse um, oximeter and heart rate monitor module. So it includes internal LEDs, photo detectors, optical elements, and no low noise electronics with ambient light rejection. So it's also very low power and it's something that they talk about in the data sheet. Um, it's able to operate on a single 1.8 volt power supply and it communicates through I2C and it can be shut down through software with zero standby current allowing the power rails to remain powered at all times. And applications of this sensor here would be in things like, um, would be in things like fitness assistant devices. So think Apple Watch, it'd be in smartphones, um, tablets and other wearable devices. So as you can see here, um, there are, um, there's, it's made by Maximum Integrated and I can see my suppliers here. Um, it's not well stocked right now. Um, it looks like 
it might be suffering from the part shortage, but there is one in stock at $7.98 each, and Altium has um, deemed this component suitable for volume production. Um, so it does a bunch of data analysis and machine learning um, automatically to determine whether you should use this part um, in a high volume design. The next part here is a imaging gesture and proximity sensor designed by Broadcom. So the APDS-9500 provides an imaging based gesture recognition function with an I2C bus interface and a single 18 pin package. So it can recognize nine gestures, including move up, move down, move left, move right, move forward, move back, circle clockwise, circle counterclockwise, and wave. So this gesture information can be easily accessed via the I2C bus. Um, it also provides built-in proximity detection for sensing objects approaching or departing. And you can imagine applications for this sensor could be in gesture detection, cell phone touchscreen, enabling and disabling, um, such as when you place the phone up to your ear, mechanical switch replacement, and frontal face tracking. So yeah, it's made by Broadcom, and there are 1,030 um, here in stock at DigiKey, and Altium has also deemed that this part is suitable for volume production. So this next sensor here is an infrared array sensor. So its features um, are temperature detection of two-dimensional area. So it can detect eight by eight pixels, so 64 pixels of temperature. So it's like a um, thermal imaging camera, just very low resolution. It has a digital output um, capable of temperature value output as well. Um, it's a very compact service mount device package. Um, and you can imagine using this um, in a like advanced home appliance, such as a microwave that can maybe tell the temperature of the food and um, suggest you microwave your food further if the center temperature of your food is cold. It can also be used in air conditioners, um, energy savings, uh, appliances like lighting control and air conditioning control, digital signage to kind of detect where people are standing relative to your sign, um, as well as automatic doors and elevators to detect the presence of people. Um, it's manufactured by Panasonic, and you can see there are 2,300 here in stock um, from DigiKey and some other suppliers as well. Altium has also deemed that this product is suitable for volume production. So the next part here is a is a 60 gigahertz pulse coherent radar sensor so um, this sensor here um, is optimized for high precision and ultra low power and this will enable easy integration into any portable battery driven device so they say it's based on their leading edge patented sensor technology with picosecond time resolution and it's capable of measuring absolute distance with millimeter accuracy up to a range of two meters and with configurable update rate. They also say that this sensor um, remains uncompromised by any natural source of interference such as noise, dust, color, and direct or indirect lighting. Also, I hear you can place this sensor behind, um, for example, or inside of a plastic enclosure and the radar will, pe will penetrate that plastic enclosure and will still be able to detect distance. So this here has a lot of applications. You can imagine like a parking sensor to detect a car, um, any high precision distance measurements with millimeter accuracy and high update rate, um, any application where you need ultra low power consumption, um, uh, proximity detection with high accuracy and the possibility to define multiple proximity zones, things like motion detection, speed detection, um, material detection. So um, whether you're trying to uh, detect material uh, metals um, in like a metal scanner um, and like how far away that metal object is. Also high precision object tracking and some gesture control capabilities. 
Um, and also this is so sensitive that um, you can use it in monitoring vital life signs such as breathing and pulse rate. So that's pretty cool. So the next part here is a 18 channel visible to near infrared spectral sensor. And this is actually a three sensor chipset. So the sensor that I have here um, would, um, would act as like the host, um, so the master, but it also has sensing capabilities as well. So it's an 18 channel, channel visible to near infrared spectral sensor. Um, and each of the three sensors has, um, has six independent on device optical filters, um, whose spectral response is defined in a range from 410 nanometers to 940 nanometers. So it also has built in control for LEDs, um, and they call that electronic shutter. And it has a lot of very cool applications. So for product brand authentication, um, it can be used for um, horticulture and specialty lighting. So for analyzing the growth of plants perhaps and the, the way that an area is being lit and for the control of specialty lighting. It can be used in material analysis, in portable spectroscopy, um, and anti-counterfeiting as well. And once again, each one of these sensors is available, you know, from Altium to integrate immediately into your electronics project. If you want to learn more about any of the sensors that are in Altium, you can just click the data sheet here, um, or you can click the link here. And I'm, I think it opens it in Octopart as well to tell you more information about it. So thanks so much for watching again. Um, this video was sponsored by um, Altium. If you're a if you're a beginner looking to design your first printed circuit board or an engineering student or a professional using a different CAD package, Altium makes it super simple to learn and to switch to. And once again, they're the world's most widely used printed circuit board design solution uh, in academia and industry as well. And if you haven't used Altium in several years, come check out their new redesign. It looks um, pretty great. And they have, um, integrations with SOLIDWORKS now and other MCAD packages. Um, and they also have um, this new um, online viewer um, called Altium 365 that allows you to uh, share your projects really easily with a consultant or mentor, for example, um, just with a simple sharing of a URL. And then that consultant or mentor can jump into your project and take a look at your schematic, your PCB, um, your bill of materials, um, et cetera. And they can even uh, pull one of, your, uh, one of your pushes. So they can pull your design files uh, right into their own desktop version of Altium. So it's like a viewer on steroids. It works well on a tablet, et cetera. Um, and it's pretty awesome. So thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below um, to let me know what you think.